For scientists, a dying star is an opportunity to see the future of our own solar system. What these Hubble images show are shells of gas that serve as tombstones. Their quiet beauty is deceptive. These walls of color are the outer layers of a star much like our sun. As a star runs out of fuel, these layers expand until the gravity of the star can no longer hold them. Eventually, they are released into space. In 2004, Hubble captures an image that gives us a glimpse of our eventual demise. The Helix Nebula. As these outer layers of star expand, they leave behind a searing hot ball of solidified oxygen and carbon astronomers call a white dwarf. Someday, the same thing will happen to our own sun. The sun will run out of fuel, and that will cause it to expand into a giant red star. That's bad news for our world. The temperature on the surface of our planet will rise over a thousand degrees. All life on Earth will perish. A wall of hot gas will sweep over the Earth, through our solar system, and into space. Every planet and moon in its path will be incinerated. The only thing left of our sun will be a splash of color visible from thousands of light years away. Like this. So the human race has its warning. We have five billion years to clear out of town. But even the death of our own sun hardly compares to a more powerful downfall. Some stars are over a hundred times more massive than our sun. The bigger the star, the shorter its life, and the more violent its death. These stars explode in a massive fireball, called a supernova. Not every kind of star can explode as a supernova. The, the sun can't, for example. It just lacks the oomph. It doesn't have the, the mass that you need to be able to get what happens in the core to make a star blow up. There are a handful of stars in the galaxy that are definitely capable of doing this. Every star is carefully balanced between the inward pull of its gravity and the outward pressure of the heat it generates from nuclear fusion. When it runs out of fuel, the pressure needed for balance is gone. Gravity now reigns supreme. The star caves in and explodes. The full fury of a supernova destroys the star and everything around it. If the star was near enough to Earth, a wave of deadly gamma and X-rays would flood towards us. It could knock out satellite communications and cause global power outages. In fact, one such giant star has already exploded in our own galaxy. Hubble Space Telescope recorded an image of the aftermath. The Crab Nebula is the expanding wreckage from a supernova that occurred in the year 1054. The explosion of the supernova was recorded by Chinese astronomers, so we know exactly when the explosion was. The expanding debris from this thousand-year-old supernova is still moving into space at about five million kilometers per hour. But the image is more than just a snapshot of ancient history. For scientists, the interconnected web-like filaments offer a clue as to the nature of life itself. 
The basic elements needed to create life are formed in the heart of stars. When the stars explode, these fundamental elements are scattered throughout the universe, seeding distant nebula clouds which give birth to new planets and new life. The hemoglobin in your blood, when you bleed and it's red, that red color is due to oxygen, and it's due to iron that is in your blood that was created in a supernova. The gold on your wedding ring is created in a supernova. Calcium in your bones was created in a supernova. And so we learn so much about the universe itself when these stars die. Hubble is giving scientists the ultimate learning experience by monitoring one particular star, Eta Carina, back in the Carina Nebula. This is a star that is a bit of a mystery. It appears to have about a hundred times the mass of the sun, and that is the upper limit. The more massive a star is, the hotter it is, and the surface of the star is so hot that it can't even hold on to its own gas. It's constantly blowing off a stream of gas. For over a decade, Hubble creates a series of photos of Eta Carina. The photos show two enormous lobes of superheated gas erupting from the surface. Although Eta Carina is a young star, its huge mass makes it unstable. This star will not survive for long. Eta Carinae is one of the very few stars that we can point at and say, yeah, that one's going to go. When Eta Carina goes, it will become one of the most devastating supernovae ever recorded. When the light from the explosion reaches us, it will be an extraordinary sight. It will be almost as bright as the full moon. All that light concentrated into a point of light in our sky. It will cast shadows at night. The fireworks will begin when the star runs out of fuel. The gigantic star will destroy itself in just a few seconds. The core of the exploding star will bear the full brunt of the catastrophe. When that happens, it will leave behind one outer space phenomenon that has long captured the imagination of stargazers. A black hole 